You're right, guys. Wipe this cowflex here. And excuse the hair and beard. I haven't done much with it today. I mean, I quickly brushed this, and this is just awful. So I thought, what better time to wear the skate shirt now that I'm well and the skate beanie? So it's like I'm wearing a different hat for each, like, episode there is of the boardroom. The first it was the skate hat, then it was the full circle hat, and now it's the skate beanie. Wait, where's the... How am I struggling to put a beanie on? I mean, I don't know how I look in beanies, so this is how I look in beanies. Oh, sorry. Let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Chris Haslam. <laughs> now, we're not one earring this. We're dual wielding this. So welcome to the third episode of The Boardroom. I've already had my PC crash today as well, so that's fantastic. I'm getting ready for The Boardroom meeting and my PC blue screen. No way! What is this? Uh, it was actually me preparing for all of this, and then it blue screened, so I'm like, ah -ha! Ah, don't do that whilst it's live. But I have got chat open. I've got it here on this screen. So we got the Hippie Jump podcast. I saw Tommy in here. Nick, Storm Skating. Cypress was in here as well. But yeah, here we are. The third boardroom meeting. And it's about to start in two minutes. How many people are watching? Hey, here we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My ears. We're going to put that on a times two speed. How many people here? 600 people here! Hey, cuz. Also, big thank you, Skate, for the beanie and the t-shirt. Much love. First up, what's the deal with console playtests? Oh, test? straight away, okay. We're still just playtesting on PC. Second, we had some leaks around items and rewards from the February playtest. To reiterate, Skate will not have paid loot boxes. You are oh, we're we working on the t-shirt. I love, love it. I'm super excited to work on a game that has so much culture and history wrapped in. Oh, um, real skateboarding and also... Leo! That popped up, up on the ledge there. Okay, okay. We can say today is, yes, there will be an ongoing story for both you and the city of San Pants. Yes! Rules a little bit to create those moments that you can't get in any Was other- Was that an acid drop? Huh? Simply put, flumping is our name for all of the new off-form gameplay that we have. It's flicking, it's jumping, thus flumping. Okay. Flicking, jumping, flumping. What the flump? <laughs> Oh, wow, that's so sick. I love that throwdowns just let you put an activity wherever you think is cool. So if you find a spot. Ah, oh, the throwdowns are kind of like threat spot in Skate 2. Yeah, and we know people are really fond of the activities we've had in the past, like on the spot and Hall of Meat, but it became really obvious Hall really of fast the that spot. our new off-word gameplay, Flumping. We have three difficulty tiers, own it, crash it, and shut it down. That would be really good. I kind of like that. That's kind of like owning it and killing it in Skate 3, but more. Modifiers are additional restrictions that will make you rethink how you tackle a challenge. So for example, you might see an own the spot that has a manual lines don't count modifier. We want challenges to feel fresh and interesting. Manual lines don't count. Okay. I want that Skate 2 shoe. Did you say modifiers? Could you have a slappy modifier? You could have a slappy modifier. Could you have a- Ah, oh, that's pretty You cool. could have a firecracker okay, modifier. Yes. That's so sick. Slappies and firecrackers. Okay, let's check out this play March playtest. Oh. I love that. Oh. We sort of implied this before, but the activities in Sand Van won't be completely static. So you can expect something new every day. Every it won't be completely day. static. So there's com that, there won't be completely. I'll come back to that. We're going to do a deeper dive on rewards, cosmetics, and generally all the cool stuff you'll be able to earn. In a future Look at episode all of that. So cosmetics in the next boardroom, okay. I don't want to talk too much about the specifics right now because honestly, we're still figuring those out. But we just want to make sure that by completing activities, you can chase the stuff that you're interested in. So all of our rewards have one thing in common, and that's giving you more ways to show off what makes you, you. You'll also be earning items from flat bars to toilets nice. to play around with our okay. building tools we have. Okay, cool. Yeah, you, you know I'm going to say toilet. The really? toilet, that's yeah. where I live. I, yep. Okay, okay. Big toilet fan. Cut. <laughs> hey, I like the video if you use the toilet. I didn't think I'd say that. Sometime. That's a nice update. I like oh, bye. that. Oh, hi. <laughs> bye. Bye. So let's start over, shall we? So start from the very beginning again let's start pausing and playing and talking about what we keep talking about the console play test is just mainly focused on the pc side at the moment i'm not too sure what the reasons are question mark okay i heard something about this there was some leaks about some loot boxes being in the game and people were of course worried which... skate will not have paid loot boxes skate will not have paid loot boxes so as Kurt just said there will be no paid loot boxes i so love this like no slides, then the little pop up. Oh, the little nolly up is just. 
So yeah, they'll talk about Sam Van later down the line. So there's no like exactly talking about what's going on and where it's going on. They said that it's going to be an ongoing story for Skate as well, which is cool. The challenges won't always stay stagnant, so they won't always be the same challenge all the time. There'll be challenges coming in and out all the time, which I'm not too sure, which will keep it refreshing. I like that idea. All right, so pop-up challenges will be like something which will be like anyone can do. It'll be a simple thing. So I'm imagining it'll just be like, I don't know, kick flip over the hedge or kick flip 360 over the hedge or something like that. I don't know. They've still got like the own it and killing it, but it's own, crush it and shut it down. Okay, so I guess it's just like that middle tier, you know, so there's not like basic, the best, or basic and hard, there's basic, medium, hard. Okay, so easy, medium, hard. Oh, okay, so modifiers will, I think, are, I don't know if this is true, but modifiers may be popping up with them, so it'll be like a pop-up of own the spot, but you can't do any grinds. So slappies and firecrackers, the little tease there. That's something new. That's never been in a skate game before. So yeah, this is actually really sick. I love this kick flip into it like over the bench and in between the gap. Love it. Yeah, it's just talking about the challenges and stuff, which is actually quite fun. I quite like this little boardroom meeting and it looks quite fun. So there's something new for you. They want skate to not be stagnant. They want skate to be always available, always playing. They want skate to be like, you can join in. There's a new challenge. There's something new to do. But yeah, that's been it for the boardroom meeting. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Um, we've got clothes coming in apparently next time in the future episode. It could be next time. But thank you so much, Skate, again, for the lovely t shirt and the beanie. It is 17 degrees in this room, so I'm boiling. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a good rest of the day and the week. And as always, do the outro. You know, I'm going to say toilet, really? It's where I live. I